Royal Tears, Princess Beatrice's Devastating Love Heartbreak Poor Beatrice, Princess Beatrice and Eduardo Mapli Mazzi are believed to be on their way to getting engaged, however, their love blossomed after many years of heartbreak for Beatrice. Royal expert Angela Mollard spoke to the New Idea Royals podcast about the Princess Old Flames. She went out with a boy called Paolo Lizzo, an American guy, she said. They didn't go out for long, less than a year, she continued, before revealing a shocking truth behind their split. The end of the relationship came when it was discovered that he was charged with assault and battery in the case of a death of a student at university. So they broke up when his criminal record was revealed. In an interview with the Mail in 2007, Paolo said that by the end of 2005 their affair was being taken so seriously by Princess Beatrice that she spoke longingly of introducing him to Queen Elizabeth II and subsequently the whole royal family. She said, I'd love you to meet Granny, Lutzu recalled at the time. But she said Chelsea wasn't allowed to meet her and usually you don't get introduced to her until you are engaged. Be wanted to fly to New York to visit my mother but, I'll be honest. I've never brought a woman back to my house to meet my family unless it was someone I would be proposing to. We'd started joking about getting married and having kids. I wasn't sure I wanted to get in that deep with B. I loved her but I wasn't in love with her. It appeared that Princess Beatrice had dodged a serious bullet with Lutzo, who was later charged with cocaine possession. Following her relationship with Lutzo, the Duchess of York entered a 10-year relationship with Uber executive Dave Clark. Mallard believes that the relationship may have been a passionless one, saying that it was probably one of those relationships where they were comfortable, they really liked each other, but there just wasn't that spark. According to the royal commentator, Dave went on to marry another woman named Lynn Anderson in Italy less than two years after their separation. Furthermore, Express reported that Prince William had initially introduced his cousin Beatrice to Dave at the birthday party of Pierce Brosnan's son Sean in 2006. However, a source told the Daily Mail in 2015 that William isn't a huge fan of Dave, and that the Duke might have contributed to their split. It's fair to say that if Beatrice had asked the Queen for permission to marry Dave, and she in turn asked William privately for his view, she may not have been given a glowing report, the source added. Since then she's had a short-term relationship with Wilfred Frost, the sons of David Frost, Mollard said, adding that Princess Beatrice may have a penchant for playboys. Princess Beatrice's current partner is 34-year-old Italian property developer Eduardo Mapli Mazzi, who's specializing in discreetly finding and developing expensive homes for rich clients. He's also the stepson of the late Christopher Shale and it is thought that he had connections as a friend of the royal family prior to his romance with Princess Beatrice. Last year, Eduardo attended the royal wedding of Beatrice's sister Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank. The daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson is set to get hitched to her property tycoon Bo as soon as next year. However, Mollard also discussed the rumors that Beatrice may not be given the same honor that Eugenie was given for her wedding due to her future fiancé having a two-year-old son with another woman. She said, It's interesting, there has been some talk that she can't have the sort of wedding that her younger sister Princess Eugenie had. I suspect because of the fact that he, Eduardo, had a child with somebody else and didn't marry her. While there is no official announcement from Buckingham Palace, Royal punters are sure the wedding will take place next year with bookies Ladbrokes even suspending betting on the impending nuptials.